Welcome back. So we are explaining the reason why uh, non-metals are bad or poor conductors of heat. And we have said that uh, free electrons are not existent in, uh, in the co uh, poor conductors, in the insulators. So because of that, we eliminate the method of conduction or uh, uh, conduction through free electrons. The only method that exists for conduction of heat in nonmetals is by vibration of atoms. And that method is not very effective. So therefore, nonmetals become poor uh, conductors of heat. We can use them for insulation. They are insulators, in other words. Now look at this. Given a question, given a question that uh, uh, is asking you, give a reason why metals are better conductors than insulators. We have already discussed that. What is the reason that uh, makes metals become better conductors than insulators? The reason is because metals conduct heat through both vibration of atoms and free electrons carrying the heat from the heated end to the other end. While insulators have no free electrons, the only method, they are poor conductors because they conduct heat through vibration of atoms only. So that is the reason. That is the reason. Another question that uh, we may get is a question like this one. The figure below shows two containers. We have a container A and we have a container B. Both containers filled with hot water. These containers, one container is made of tin, the other container is made of plastic. They are identical. The only difference is that one is a met, a made of metal, the other one is made of a plastic. Now, giving reasons, state which of the two containers will make the water to cool faster. Giving reasons, state which of the containers will make the water to cool faster. Now, what did we say? Uh, we say that uh, heat can be conducted faster in metals, but non-metals are poor conductors of heat. So which one will conduct heat much faster? Can you uh, tell us which one? Obviously, it is the tin. It is the metal that is, uh, I mean, it is the container that is made up of tin. Water will cool faster in the tin. This is because tin is a good conductor of heat. Tin is a good conductor of heat. And because of that, then it makes it uh, a container that will make the, the, the water to cool faster. If you are given a plastic cup and a metallic cup, and you are using them to drink uh, tea, Remember, the one which is uh, uh, made of metallic, the metallic cup, the tea will cool much faster inside there because the heat is being conducted out faster than the other plastic material. Or if it is a glass uh, 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 tumbler, it will not cool that I mean, tea faster because it is not a good conductor, it is a very poor conductor. Now, uh, attached with what we have already discussed is comparing the conductivities of wood and iron. Comparing the conductivities of wood and iron. When we compare wood and iron, we may attach them together. So we are going to have a, an iron rod and a wooden rod of the same diameter. We join end to end. We join them end to end. And then we are going to use Bunsen burner a piece of paper wrapped between the uh, place where they are joined. It is, looks like this. 
So we are going to have uh, the iron rod, we are going to have the wooden rod on the other side. Then, where they are joined, we wrap that uh, side with a piece of paper. So, the procedure is the piece of paper is wrapped around the joint, the joint so that uh, some of the paper is over the iron rod and some of it is over the wooden rod. So we burn. A flame is passed over the paper several times. Just pass the paper, I mean the flame over the, the side where you have uh, joined them several times. Now the observation is this. Uh, we observe that the paper gets charred or blackened on the side covering the wood. On the side where it is covering the wood, it becomes black. Black. On the side which is covering the iron, remains white. Why? The explanation is this. is because the wood is a bad conductor of heat, while iron is a good conductor of heat. So, when heat, uh, when we heat the place where we have joined them, the heat will always flow through the metal. It will just flow through the metal, getting, uh, going out to the surrounding, going out to the surrounding. While on the other side where we have the wood, the wood is a non, I mean, is, a, is an insulator. So the heat will be accumulated accumulated there, accumulated there, raising the temperature and therefore burning that piece of paper on that side. On the side of the metal, the heat will be getting out, conducted out the surrounding. So on that side where we have the metal, the temperatures will be lower, while the side where we have the wood, the temperatures will be higher. So the side where we have the wood will be heated and become black. The side where we have the iron, will not be heated because the temperatures will be lower. So in other words, uh, uh, an insulator does not allow the heat to flow away. It accumulates the heat. A good conductor allows the heat to flow away to the surrounding. And that is the essence of uh, uh, the comparison of heat for iron and for wood. Uh, we can have a question like this. For example, if I pose a question. During a hot day, when you touch an iron gate, it is hotter. It's much hotter. But if you touch a wooden gate, it is cold. What is the reason? What is the reason? It's because the iron gate, the heat from the iron gate is uh, conducted to your body. So you feel, you feel much hot. From, uh, uh, from, from that iron gate. While the wooden gate, the heat does not, is not conducted to your body. It remains there. So you feel that it is cold. And uh, we can have so many explanations on the comparison of heat uh, transfer in non-metals and in good uh, uh, many conductors of heat. So we will stop there for today uh, so that we meet in the Google Classroom for some more questions. Thank you very much.